Hey you guys, it's Ben. Uh, welcome back to Hex and DD. In the last part, we um, we kind of wandered about a bit. We actually did the secret stage, and in this part, I'm hopefully wanting to beat the game because we're almost done. We've just got to get the three artifacts, put them in the slots, and final stage away. Now I'm looking about here because I don't know. It's Oh, was this? Oh, that was where it was the entire time. Ah, oh, that was a thing. I was just there. I would grab that. Uh, so anyway, yes, yeah, so we did this bit. And why we ended up here? Of all things, I don't know why we ended up here. Okay, so we've got one of the symbols now. I'm gonna head into. Okay, this was the place. Okay. Okay, well I'll back out. And we'll head off to the place across the hall. It's down this end. <laughs> um, so yeah. Now overall, Hexen has been a pretty fun game to play. Um, I know I've been playing it, as I keep saying, I've been playing it slightly illegitly because I've been playing it on the source board that uh, adds new features, including crouching, which you're not supposed to do. And also the fact that this port this board um, allows you to look up and down and stuff, and you know it's hardware rendered and not software rendered, so thus it looks a lot better than it should. Like, I, I understand all that. I don't understand what this thing is about. Um. Maybe we'll figure it out. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we'll figure it out. Um. Oh, there goes the respawn. Oh, yeah, we went up here before, yeah. There was nothing up there, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, so... Like, uh... It's been an enjoyable game. As much as it's got its faults and it's been a bit of a mess to... kind of... find things in the game, generally I think it's been a good game to play. Um, I, I, I haven't seen the, uh, the uh, secret part of the to get up there. Um, I don't really pull the gears in. Uh, so the only other way, oh, okay. So the problem with this, with guys responding is that then you kind of go, okay, well, have I been here? Well, I guess not, because there's an enemy there, but that's just because he respawns. It's a little bit annoying in that respect, but... Uh... Cage is still there. Yeah, the cage is a bit weird. Uh, but anyway... Like, it's been pretty fun to play. I'm sorry, I'm a bit tired. That's why, that's why I sound a bit... Kind of less than usual. Oh, don't want to go near there. Ah! Oh. I'm guessing that would be up here? Yeah? Nope. Well, I'm guessing it would be the only other way. Into the lava. Oh, that's open apparently. Nope, that one's never open. Jeez. Oh, who's half asleep here? Maybe. Okay, so that's a lot up here. Is there any other doorways? No. Means that switch needed to have activated something back all the way up to here. The lift's still there. The doorway's still there. Um, hmm. Intriguing. So the thing is definitely activated. I didn't just miss it completely. Ah. Uh, something down here specifically but this is what I mean by wandering around I mean like doing this blind 
It's weird, I actually didn't do most of this game blind, it was just the DD parts and not even all of them. Uh, and the DD parts haven't been that bad, although, although they did get back into the kind of multiple level thing, but they never pull the seven portals. It's, it's kind of odd. The worst part of the game is the beginning part. That's the part that gets you lost. I think there's something kind of wrong with the level structure. Maybe they were trying to say, okay, what can we do to make levels interesting? Well, we'll start off by making kind of like a puzzle and then we'll work around making it enemy based. It's, it's, it's intriguing seeing games like this, um, like Half-Life, where the focus kind of shifts across the game, you know? I, I have no clue where to go, I just activated a switch and I have no clue unless if it activated something at the very beginning, in which case that would be pretty, pretty annoying. <laughs> so there's, an en there's quite a couple of enemies, oh my gosh, what? I just... Who said I need more enemies? Oh, that's what I meant. Alright. I was about to just say, okay, I'll look it up. But then that happened, so I was like, okay. Um. Yeah, it's a little bit hard why you put the hardest to figure out level first, and then you put the next hardest after that. And then by the third level, the third level was. I can't remember the third level. The third hub. But, it, but like by the fifth hub, it was just like go to the areas, kill the guy, that's it. The fourth area, I remember it was. The fourth area was a little bit of a mix, but generally you didn't really have to go to the areas that often. Also, I'm just gonna spam this a couple of times. So, yeah, these guys. I don't like those guys very much. I may know by now, but I don't like them very much. Uh, switch. Ooh. Fancy. Okay, maybe not fancy. Just chuck me up on the back ends of all these guys. Oh, that's what spawned me. It spawned me. Ah, I was going to this room does it have to do with my life? Also, by the way, the draw distance in the actual game is a lot less. It's a lot darker. Um, so I guess I just teleport my way out. Oh, I ended up here. Of all things. Yeah. So I want to get into that portal specifically. Do I want to get into that portal? I want to grab the item. I don't know where the item is, but I want to grab it. I would say the music is kind of being entertaining. It's it's a, it's odd. It's kind of mixed, but it's being pretty entertaining. It's also kind of interesting. This to just jump into a game from the 90s, and even if it's a serious shooter, it's gonna have music. I mean, I mean, like, you know. Oh, this just chucks me back up here. Yeah, okay, so. What is with this? One of those leap. One of those leaps. Okay, so there's definitely something going on with this door specifically. Uh, what is this button? Raise it again? Okay. Then I get taken out here. Um, so yeah, yeah, I've, I've had a good time playing this game. I'm sorry, I'm like half asleep. I'm really sorry. I go, oh, that door is open. And I teleport, and then I grab the item. Boom. Out of here. Now I'm in here. Is that like just, uh, am I just doing this completely backwards? Am 
might be doing this completely backwards then. Okay, in that case, we should be back at this place. This was the first place we went into, actually. Now, coming back here, there should be, like, first of all, there should be, like, no enemies. Second of all, if we come back here, everything should have been sorted. Well, this back section has been sorted, which means that if we push the button, then... Side area opens. Okay, I'm okay with that. So we'll be able to clear this really quickly. We'll actually have a finale that doesn't go for tons longer than the rest of the game. Than the rest of the LP. I, I'm sorry, I do that in, in uh, finales. I'm like, oh, don't worry, it won't be much longer. And then, and then I mess up and stuff, because obviously it's the end of the game, it's going to be hard. But I just don't want to, like, have a short last part. I always, I always find myself kind of being like that. I'm like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to end it kind of short. I want to have a big grand finale, grand finale. Well, I understand the portal, but I need to grab. Oh, well, that makes sense. Jump! Yeah, got the relic. And then it decides to go all crushy action on you. So it takes, yeah, this portal goes back here. Okay, okay, so I see what they were doing there. There was no portal, I went back to... The... Actually, there was. Huh. So it ended up being a whole circle in the end. Also, because I didn't show this off, I know no one said to me to do this, but... If you fly around, you can actually grab all the stuff. And I will grab some of it in the secret level, by the way. Mind you. But you can also see how there's, like, tons of mana. Get the mana. Get the boots, which I will never use because I don't. I probably never use any of these. But like, it's kind of intriguing how I'm just kind of flying around these environments. I really do like the flying item. I believe. Heretic also had it, but it's, it's just kind of interesting how in a game where it can't even render up and down, yet you can fly around in it. Also, by the way, yeah, if you use the flying, you can get some really mad loot. You can also really die. Bad mad loot. Um, there's probably one on the, yeah, there's probably one on the other side as well. I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's that's why I came back here for pretty much for that. Also, because then I can fly. But who worries about telefragging when you can fly? So anyway, at the up, at the up. I believe one of the items goes there. Where do the other items go? I believe they go in... Other thing goes, there's one there. I guess there's one on the outside. It's kind of weird though, they're the same artifacts just three times. They should have all just been one thing at the end. And it says the doors are now open if you are ready. Well, of course, this is the final moment of the game. Pretty ready. I just went into this huge, huge supply closet right there. Go back there. Anyway, just enter the thing, and I am still flying. Oh yeah, it's a bit of an endurance run this this last stage. That's, that's what it looks like. Final boss, endurance. They give you items for it. They don't give me ammo for it, so I kind of keep spamming this attack all the time. There's still three enemies that just kind of sit around, and I think that's that's who he is. Oh yeah. Okay. I should probably trick these. 
Oh, I gotta fight all the guys that are acting like the classes. So I gotta fight tons of these mage guys, I guess, and then... Oh, sorry. I would be fine the mage now, because I fought lots of mage-like enemies, right? Also, I got four of these goblet things, so I'm, o I'm okay from that, actually. I mean, yes, I would like to grab some, like this. But I'm not like... I'm gonna need them. Also, I just realized I'm flying in the final boss fight. Yeah, I don't know how long this flying thing lasts. Oh, hello. Hello, equivalent cleric. He was pulling the exact same stunt on me, but I can fly around, so it's okay. Also, they just gave me one of those things. And they also gave me... Uh, I don't know how long you can fly around for. Didn't expect these guys to pop up. These guys are actually kind of annoying when you think about it. They have low health, yes, but they deal tons of damage and they're kind of scary. -ish. Maybe it's just because they come up for the very last one. Okay, this final fight is pretty easy for a cleric. I mean, seriously. Fly around, just do this all the time. Where's he at? Hey, did I say it was pretty easy? They did that at the very end, yeah. Thank you, Finale. We'll go on for much longer. It's a bit of an interesting pattern they've got going on. So, yeah. Got killed by the one hit attack. Good to be killed by the one attack. So anyway, yeah. So it's been a good LP. Um, uh, it's been kind of interesting doing kind of blind LPs for like the now. I mean, I mean, considering I've never oh, gotta, gotta kill him before he starts throwing hammers at me. There you go. Throwing a sword thing at me. It's been kind of interesting doing games blind because I don't, I haven't really done it for a while, for a long time. Um, uh, and the main reason I did it was that I thought I was a bit bad on commentary, so I was like, maybe I should play games that I've played, because, you know, my most popular LP, and I was bad to be talking about popular, it should be a personal thing, but that that was from the heart, kind of Toy Story, it's from the preview, that's not hard, but from the heart nonetheless, it smashes out the windscreen windscreen out the window. Just smother him and he just can't get a can't get a hit. Have I got anything to defend me? Got that guy. Can I actually chuck several of these guys? Because hey, this is the last fight. I can. I've just spawned like four of them. Holy snap, this is awesome. Like, I understand these guys are pretty much kicking my butt now. Also, my own attacks are trying to hit them. It's kind of bad. Also, they all disappear like right now. The way is open. Good on you, guy. Good on you. Also, I'm still flying. And... That was the game! The mightiest weapons and artifacts of the ancients barely sufficed to defeat the Horesiarch and his minions, but now their foul remains lie strewn at your feet. Gathering the last of your strength, you prepare to enter the portal which leads from the Horesiarch's inner sanctum. Above you, the ramparts of an immense castle loom, silent towers, and bare walls surround a single spire of black stone which squats in the center of the castle like a brooding giant. Fire and shadow twists behind gaping windows, dozens of baleful eyes glaring down upon you. Somewhere within you, your enemies are waiting. But yeah, that's kind of it. Once again, you find yourself in the great hall of the Chaos Sphere, as if no time had passed from when 
lost you moved among these shadows. But something is eerily different. A silence where once had been soft whispers. A sense of being watched by hidden eyes. Eyes which shield a maleficent... A malefic intent. Sorry. Once before you grasped the chaos fear, held it within your trembling hands. Now your hands tremble with something no more than a, we a virus, and dread meshes with the hunger for power. If even the power of the sphere is not enough to protect you from the forces of darkness, perhaps it is better left untouched, its promise left unkept. But then, you never were one to back down from a challenge. And that was Hexen DD, which and other players await. Which unfortunately tried to pull the same ending. And they tried to expect another ending, but Yeah. So anyway, so hope you guys have enjoyed me playing Hexen and stuff. I will be returning to my usual stuff now, pretty much. Not at the time of recording, but definitely at the time of uploading, because I've definitely got my capture card and stuff working. Which is going to be good, because I can finally record stuff in good quality. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys next time.